Well, hello, Mech Bros. Thanks for tuning in to Broad Strokes News. I'm Stonewall, here to tell you that Comstar does not pay my bills. I do the C bills free. And first up in our news today, Mech Warrior 5 has been out nine days, and the reviews are a bit uh, like this. <laughs> Hovering around a 5.2, we have, on Metacritic, we have 57 positive, 26 mixed, and 68 negative. If we had this being sold on, say, Steam and GOG and other places, we could bring in more reviews. I usually trust the Steam reviews. That's how I buy a lot of my games, is based on the user reviews instead of the critic reviews. I I don't I guess maybe people are wanting too much. I'm not the happiest with what I've seen so far, but I know a lot of people have been waiting forever and they didn't want a single player mech game and that's that. And if you want a different style of online experience playing other people, you'll have to go to MWO or Living Legends or the other mech games that you can still play online. I find this score kind of weird. It's really, there's not many in the middle. It's either you love it or you hate it. Whereas if I go over here to Mega Warrior 4 Mercenaries, you see the bars are skewed towards the positive. And if I go to the game that was released right before Mega Warrior 5, Battletech, it's heavily skewed towards the positive also. They're sitting at a 7 compared to Mech Warrior 5's 5.2. When the game first came out, it was sitting at a 5.4, and it has dropped since then. Um, a lot of people are saying in all the various discords and subreddits, they believe this is a good foundation for a single player mech warrior in that mods will really amp this game up. And speaking of that, we have T Fatty posted four days ago his HUD mock up redesign, which I really like. I love reds and greens, blacks and yellows. I figure it's pretty perfect other than I don't see a spot for jump jet fuel. I could be wrong. I like the I just looking in here, I like the speedometer right there. I really enjoy being able to look down in the center for the map. I like the weapons down here. Things I don't really care about, which I'm glad he put up in the corner is my squad. I don't it's like whatever. I'm more of a solo player. My squad can die off and I'll be hiding in the trees. But that's a very nice redesign. That's just the first type of quote mod in a way that we've seen from Mega Warrior 5. So I believe there's a lot of potential here with the community coming. Speaking of that. We have, sorry to get lost there, we have so many MechWarrior Battletech discords right now. This this IP has really exploded lately. There's so many going from Old Bob, Living Legends, Battletech Remastered, Snarkles, Discord, Mech3 Community, Wolves, and the new MechTech. The brand new mech tech started by Vam. This is going to be our modding community for the future. I'm really excited for this. If mech tech doesn't touch Mech Warrior 5, at least we have a place to come together and collaborate on this. 
And I think this will be very good for the community. Something positive for the community. Because if we go to, say, the latest developer update with Rust, it's not the most positive comments. There we have a summary. And then Quantum here says, having not watched the video, I find it hard to tell if you're trolling us or if Russ legit said everything you just mentioned. It's scary, isn't it? Russ is an interesting guy. He is definitely a leader. And when you have a brand, I've seen this from past leaders that I've worked for and bosses and they'll really toe the line because they I mean they're the they're the top guys so they're gonna say what they have to say and try to make that reality whether it is or not so you can't really get too upset with him he's a business guy it is what it is all we can do is stay positive if there's something we want in the game suggest it to other people and mod it in So a good place to start would be the MechTech Discord before the website comes up. Here, this is by the way, Vam, the leader, right-hand man, J-Ho. I think that's how you say his name. And speaking of mods for Mech 5, there is a Mech Warrior 3068 mod that's is being started they are asking an outreach HPG for people to help with this they have ideas and an outline here first started with T Fatty's HUD concept so when they release modding tools and we have the ability to go into the game we'll start to see MechWarrior 5 change up for us okay moving on from Mech 5 Hello, oh, hello, hello, and welcome to Frico's Funhouse. This hello, Frico. Ancient Frico, if you don't know, he's the main modder for MechWarrior 3, and he has started a Twitch channel, and he is going to start streaming him trying to mod his, uh, not mod, he's going to try to recreate MechWarrior 3 in a new game engine. I believe he said he's going to do it in Unity. I could be wrong. It's either Unity or Unreal Engine. But I'm leaning toward he said Unity. And here at Ancient Frico, Ancient X Frico, is where you can find him. And if you're interested in seeing Mega Warrior 3 being remade, this is the place to do it. He's doing a great job with the weapons mod. Without him having the source code and all of the keys to Mecha Warrior 3, he's done a really good job with his weapons mod. It's easy to install. It adds a lot to the game. It's one of these free efforts for us, by us, that the community is doing right now. Moving on to even something that's been going on for a long time with a bunch of people working on it is the new update that they're about to put out completely for Living Legends. Two things I noticed here in the text file. They're adding the Marauder. So we're getting a whole new Inner Sphere Heavy Mech, which is awesome. Some weapons have been changed a little bit. Something else I like is there's new Nova Cat cockpit art they say it's been finished for ages but they kept forgetting to include it that is the only thing I have against living legends and I have almost nothing at all no gripes but you could tell some of the cockpits need work and I know that's probably something that takes a lot of work but having the Nova Cat have some animation inside some, some graphics I can't wait to see because I believe it's just like a blob like a black blob beforehand that really will add to the immersion and the fun to that 
There's another for us, by us. Great work that's happening in the community right now. And if nobody got you anything for Christmas, Pajama Boy and his crew is releasing Wolves, the free fan-made for us, by us, Mech Assault game for PC. He is saying it is coming out on Christmas. It may not be everything, but I believe at least Grinder is coming, which is, seems to be I think we're going up against enemies, the AI. Multiplayer and all will probably be released either on Christmas or pretty soon after. You can find their game at wolvesgame.com and Christmas is only six days away, so if you need something to do to escape the family, to escape other mech games you're not happy with, or kind of played to death, you have a whole new one to play. It's a free Christmas gift. For us, by us. Well, there's so much going on in Battletech nowadays that I'm having to do my homework and write down notes and keep a logbook. It's a really exciting time for Battletech Warrior. Hope you guys find what you're looking for out there, and I'll see you guys next time.